Morning everybody, Jason Hollis Farms. I'm just leaving the truck. It's pretty good daylight. Kinda wanted to do it on purpose. My back, is day two, Illinois. My back was hurt when I got done last night. All the walking and everything we did. Plus, kinda catching on some sleep where we stayed up all night the other night, drove up here. And plus, being a little lazy. And plus, it's a full moon. And I gotta walk across this field to get to where I wanted to be. So, and yesterday morning when we rode around, there was deer in and, and all these other fields at daylight. So, I'm just gonna ease down here and uh, just try not to spook nothing. Ease in there and get on stand. See what happens. It's windy. It's cold, too. All right, y'all, we locked and loaded. I didn't jump nothing, spook nothing, so. I don't know, not a lot of fresh tracks here, I swear. I believe they deers around these folks that's got corn, but we don't need but one, and that ain't got to be real big. Well, if we ain't got anything else, we got a beautiful sunrise this morning in Illinois. There's a deer right over here behind me. Hang on, my mic can get the camera around there in a minute. I think it's a doe, I'm not sure. sure if that was a spike or a doe, but at least we saw something that's a start. That moon being full like it is, that may move on up in the day. I'm gonna probably stay a pretty good while and then probably move my stand and do some scouting probably sometime around lunch or right after. At least we see a little bit of deer. Keeps you excited. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I need to go do some more scouting. I don't really want to leave anything uncovered, just in case. I think I'm in a good spot. I don't know. Squirrels is moving. I am gonna do some scouting. I feel like you need to do that. Never know what, especially not being here. I even like to do that at the house. Much less on a place that I've never been before. So I'm gonna stay just a few more minutes and uh, ease back to the truck, and then go look south and I'll bring my stand out but I ain't gonna care with me when I go scout I don't know we may end up over hunting with them cows this afternoon or a little east of here where we saw that good buck yesterday at least we seen a deer when we get in the stand we hadn't, hadn't been completely skunked yet all right so I took my stand down just a super bad morning, at least we didn't get skunked. Saw one, that thing had bedded down. I thought I should have saw it leave, and I, it had bedded down. It got up again a while ago, and I think it laid back down. I think I got out there without it knowing I, left. I was even there. I felt like I need to do some more scouting. We got to find something fresh instead of just kind of 
of sitting there hoping to get lucky, but I don't know. That may be what we have to do. If we don't find nothing fresh. Alright, so we was way down there in them woods. That buck come out right in here somewhere yesterday afternoon. I wasn't going to put my stand up, but boy, I really like that. It's a finger that goes up that way and a finger that goes this way and some tall grass. That'll be bedding in there. I think I'm going to get right over here and uh, where all this comes together and go ahead and put my stand up. We still going to go scouting. I think while I'm here with my stand, I think I'm going to hang that joke because the wind's supposed to be it's still east. So that's north. If they're coming out of there this evening, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I feel good about that. And we walk in from right there, so we'll just walk right off the hill and hop in there. It might be good in the morning time, too. I'm going to try to get to where I can see up through there some. Finally found some good sign there that I don't Pretty good deer. We can figure out where we want to be. Well, y'all, just when I start finding some decent sign, here comes the combine. So, we're probably going to change the plans on this. I was just fixing to get in this tree. Oh, oh well. Alright, y'all, made it back to the camper, fixing to eat meal. It's after 11 o'clock. I'm finna eat me a honey bun for breakfast and drink me a Dr. Pepper. We're gonna run and do a little scouting real quick and then we'll probably eat lunch and then, I don't know, maybe find something so good we're in a hurry to get back hunting. But since they combine it over there, uh, we're gonna jump on the other side of the road where I was wanting to go look anyway and that may be where we're hunting or we go back in there with them cows. We'll have to make a, pull, make a call here shortly though. I didn't think about it neither before I came up here, but... Wouldn't have made any difference. I just came when I could. This full moon probably ain't helping on some of this daytime movement. But with the rut stuff going on, I ain't worried about that. The moon as much. We just gotta. I think we're in a good spot, but it probably take a day or two, probably before I'm gone, before that uh, settles down with them combining their beans there. But I, there is one more spot on the same side of the road I'm on down here, kind of on the southwest corner and uh a spot to the south that we're finna go look at all right i got a little dead end road down here looks like it was beans all the way around this and in the middle of this so we might get lucky just gotta keep bouncing and looking best we can all right so I come through the little gate there i forgot about this road this Saved me a bunch of walking. I get sore if I walk too much, but oh, um, got cows in it not too far from a highway. This is kind of the direction that good buck we saw yesterday was coming. So, the wind, the wind ain't just right, but we got to do something. Looks like there's ryegrass planted out here with these cows, too. You never know. Oh, out of a hole. Boy, that hurts when you step in a hole. Oh, you never know. We're going to go look at it while we're here anyway. So bull kind of eyeballing me. I ain't liking that. I'm looking for my escape route. Maybe it won't be bad. They ought to be kind of used to people. It's not far behind the house, so it might be a mean one, though. I'm gonna give him plenty of space. Finna get over here on the edge. Look for a fence post to climb if we need to. He may not be done to him. Maybe not. Oh man. What I got so Oh he's lame. Yeah, left foot. Left leg messed up. Godly. I hate to see that. Looks healthy, but he's hurt. Don't look like near as many cows yet as over at that other place. Here across the fence, there's a finger of wood. The highway ain't too far out there. 
hoping to find somewhere where they cross and I ain't liking my wind at all but I can't do nothing about that right now I did see some quite a few tracks back there coming this way there's a good trail right here where are they crossing that fence pretty fresh tracks I'm liable to have to get my stuff and come down here and try this Pretty good rub, it's pretty high up. Alright, so that was some of the best trails as far as fresh tracks on them. Right now, all the other trails that I've seen, you know, coming out in these ag fields, not just a ton of tracks on them, but there was two or three that come together. The wind's gonna be tricky. But I don't know. If the, I want to think they might be bedding up there close to that highway but and the wind will be tricky there but if they happen to be bedding the other direction and coming kind of towards the highway at night cows ain't been coming to me we'll be alright so I picked me a tree out and uh, alright cows don't let me holler at you I picked me a tree out I'm gonna, Run back up here to the truck for a little bit and eat me a snack. Get ready to go if I make it back to the truck. I'm not sure I'm gonna make it back. Hang, we got them coming from everywhere. I don't think they're wild, they're just curious. They're pretty cows. I like cows. I wish uh, Cody likes cows too. Oh, I thought about. I thought about clearing some ground to farm. I also thought about clearing some ground for some cows. And I don't know. I like cows. I said I'd never have a job again where I fool with animals after the deer business, but something to think about. I like being around them. Cody likes that kind of stuff too. All right, so I warmed up a little bit. I went in there and took my long johns off and Got a little lighter weight pan or pants on and lighter weight shirt and carry me a little vest this afternoon. I know most people have been eating me a snack too. Got me a monster. I'm just gonna eat me a granola bar. I'm not just real hungry. Oh, pants a little tight too. I know most people, uh, they're in this rut. They sit pretty much most all day and I know we ain't been doing that, but I gotta, I gotta be confident when I uh, get in a spot and it being a brand new spot, kind of jumping around. But I liked what I saw a while ago. I'm, I'm worried about the wind to a point but i think i can get in there i hope I, if i didn't bust nothing out i'm hoping they coming from the north if they do that will be good if they come from the from the south gonna be a little tricky but uh just i really don't know what this thing doing i got the highway behind me the creek i don't know we gotta try it we gotta try it we're gonna be here long so we gotta try it and they cutting beans over there which it may be a blessing i may not even went back in there and looked at what we looked at and found those fresh rubs and stuff boy that one was high so i feel pretty good about that so i'm waiting me a snack real quick and then we're gonna ease back in there and have us a few hours sitting with this full moon they, they liable to, of course they rut and they live move anytime it's probably right at dark and i kind of like where i'm at kind of feel like i'm deeper back in there all right, here we go. Headed in for the afternoon to see it. It's gonna be tricky on this wind, but gotta push it a little bit. Might push it a little bit harder on a few things that I might not do at the house since we ain't gonna be here just too long. Ease by these cows in a minute.
All right, y'all, so I made it out. I had a super hunt this afternoon. Couldn't hardly get anything on film. One time I had a chance to get one of the bucks I saw on film. I looked down and my battery had went dead. So when everything everything went on kind of quick, fast, in a hurry there, we got the one doe that came by on the camera that had mounted on my bow. When the buck came by, he was too far for that. Anyway, I got the battery swapped and then I had a, excuse me, whew, nice buck come by right at dark. One time, one of them was about 60 yards and about 50 on the other. So I saw about, I either saw seven or eight, two bucks that I would have shot and the rest of them does. And uh, just, I was in a spot that doe come right by about, shoo eight or ten yards i was really too close to that trail but uh if it had been a buck i'd have been able to draw and when she came by and she kind of saw me she never did really spook and went on by but anyway super afternoon today what i did when i got down I hadn't done this in a long time <clears throat> it's kind of bigger woods right there where i'm at and it, and it bottlenecks down a little bit uh just north of me so i kept looking at the map and whatnot while i was thinking about it in the stand so i got down and uh, after it got dark and i went up about 150 yards and hung my stand in the dark hadn't done that in a long time i used to do it all the time but anyway so just kind of guessed i feel like i got good cover i was sticking out like a sore thumb this afternoon big tree but no cover i think i got some pretty good cover where i'm at and i'm gonna be right on the edge of the creek so uh i think well i think it'll be a good spot i don't know we'll see i like where i was this afternoon my tune on that right there around there but i'm hoping I'm going to be better because pretty much every deer either came from that way or was going that way. And I believe they'll probably try to get tight in there on the edge of that creek to uh, to go. It should be a good trail there. I couldn't tell in the dark. But um, just keep bouncing around. And I think I'm where I want to be now. I'm just going to try to tune on that right there every sit and see if we can figure something out. But good hunt this afternoon. I just, we're sorry I couldn't get it on film. Most of it is just tough. I'm trying to trying to sling an arrow camera kind of i am thinking about the camera but it's not number one on my mind like i am a lot of times at home but anyway we'll just keep hacking away i'm gonna eat me a ham sandwich and get me some sleep i need to get in there early in the morning i didn't get in there just super early this morning but i need to get in there super early in the morning i think and kind of beat them beat them in there while they're out in some of these fields eating and catch them coming back in that's the plan we'll just have to see appreciate y'all watching out of here.